Hey y'all, good morning. It's been such a long time since I've done a video. I just wanted to come to you today because I promised you guys that I was going to do a video on the keto meal plan. Now, I am not prepared at all. I looked at the date like, oh my goodness, it's the 31st. I promised them a video. I promised that I was going to be more consistent on my Healthy and Wealthy channel. So, I'm just about to do it. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and stuff about, hey, you know, bloggers and this and that. And the first thing that they always say is, hey, just do the video. Stop trying to be all fancy and all this kind of stuff and just do the video. So that's what I'm about to do. I got my little information that I wrote down. Hopefully I wrote down and said enough for you guys. Um, got enough information here for you. But anyway, I was sitting here... Um, preparing my vegetables and stuff for this week because I got off balance last week. I just came off my fast, so I kind of fell off real quick. But I'm like, uh-uh, girl, no, you not. You about to get right back to it. And so, therefore, you know, um, I prepared my pepper mix um, with my garlic. And I've decided that I'm going to keep mixed vegetables in a bag because I like fresh vegetables so I just cut my vegetables up and put them in a bag so that I can grab and go. Um, I put those in my salads. I make soups with that and that's one of the things that I wanted to say about what I'm going to do as far as my habit for um, the keto diet what I'm going to eat is just meat and vegetables. I'm not going to eat any side dishes at all. Very little bread. And the desserts that I eat, I'm going to make them myself. So what I'm going to do is every week I'm going to make a different dessert and post it on the page so that y'all can see what kind of dessert that I'm eating. Um, it will be keto friendly, just to let you know. Um... And I probably will be posting my meals and stuff every day. So definitely, I want to have a salad every day. So I got to have my salad bowl ready. The only reason why I don't have anything else in a salad bowl is because I've noticed that when you add things like cucumbers and tomatoes and stuff like that, if the if you don't eat all of it within a day or two, then it, be, it begins to make your salad wilt and be really, you know... I like my salad crispy, so I don't put anything else in there, but I always just go ahead and prepare it so I can take it out of this bowl and put it into another bowl, add my onions and stuff, add my vegetables up to it, and I just eat the salad just like that, put my cucumbers, tomatoes, or whatever else that I want to add on there. So a lot of you guys are so um, nervous about the keto uh meal plan because of the high fat but i just wanted to say to you guys that um i kind of wrote down what we eat on keto which is good healthy fats so you got your grass-fed butter or g coconut oil mct oil olive oil avocado egg yolks, macadamia nuts, almond butter, seeds, like um, the, the oil that comes from the seeds, fatty fish like mackerel, tuna, and sardines, and probably some of the fat that you may get from mayo or cheese. Um, they got keto cream and um, fat bombs. Fat bombs are like... Um, one of the things that we eat on keto to make sure we keep uh, the keto. On keto, your diet has to be 75% fat. That means that your body stops running off sugar and it starts to run off fat, which means your body burns calories off fat instead of sugar. So what we're doing with the keto diet is we're getting all the sugar out of our system. Now, these here are the only fats that we eat. So everybody who has it all misunderstood about, oh, my God, they eating so much fat. They eating so much fat. 
you're misunderstood. This is the only fat that we eat. Anything else that's on, not on this list, we don't eat it. Oil, we're not eating that. All kinds of seed oil and all of that kind of stuff, we're not eating this. This is the fat that we eat and that's it. Now, the only thing that's not on this list is um, the fat that we may eat from eating chicken um, and not fried chicken. We're just talking about chicken. Um, it still has fat in it, even though you may eat, you know, um, chicken breast. It still has some percentage of fat in it. So the only thing that's not on this list is um, animal um the uh, fat from animals. Now, the um, we want to avoid seed oils and vegetable oil, canola oil, so soybean, corn oil, and grapeseed oil. Um, dairy has fat in it. So you want to be careful um, of how much dairy you, uh, you eat. We avoid processed meats and grain-fed beef or poultry. So there you have it, folks. For those of you who, oh my God, they just eat so much fat. Oh my God, oh my God. So um, we also do like full-fat dairy. Um, yogurt, heavy cream, sour cream, cottage cheese, cream cheese, Hard cheese like Parmesan, Swiss, feta, cheddar, brie, Monterey Jack. You know, so we're able to eat cheese. Um, cheese does not have sugar. So we just stand away from sugar. Um, these are some of the condiments that you're able to have on keto. Mustard, ketchup. You have to get the ketchup, the sugar-free ketchup. We call it one-minute mayo. Stuff like this you can Google so you'll figure out what it is. Horseradish, soy sauce, sauerkraut, high fat salad dressing, but no but salad dressing with no sugar. These are the sweeteners that we use. We use liquid stevia, earthenol, and monk fruit. That's it. No white sugar, no brown sugar, no honey, no none of that. These are the three sugars that we eat on on keto and that's it um you got your uh herbs and spices that you can use you can use any herbs and spices these are just what i wrote down that i basically am going to use because um this is all i know about <laughs> but i plan to go on the herb uh, website and start just trying new herbs because I want to I want my food to taste different so therefore um, that's what I'm gonna do so now you gotta go do your homework your research I'm not gonna tell you everything but I'll just tell you that the keto diet is 75% fat 20% protein and 5% carbs because there's carbs in everything there are carbs in vegetables I know people don't think so but they are look it up you got some um, some um, vegetables that are lower in carb than others I wrote them down here your low carb vegetables are usually your dark and leafy vegetables spinach kale broccoli cauliflower zucchini lettuce cucumber celery greens asparagus avocado uh, mushrooms olives cabbage okra so the, this is this is basically my um, grocery list right here because all I eat is vegetables and meat so then you have, um, I looked at uh, fruit that are um, low on the pH level. And what, the reason why I say low is because we don't want to eat high alkaline. We're trying to, um, I mean, not, I'm sorry, high acid 
food. We're trying to alkaline our bodies. So the higher the alkaline, the better. So lemons and limes, tangerines, grapes, blueberries, kiwi, papaya, and melons. And melons are on the pH level of the the fruits that we can have. And of course, you can have any any of the berries. So, but we want to eat those sparingly because we can only eat very little sugar and fruit equals sugar even though it's natural sugar it still equals sugar so we're trying to keep um our sugar down to a minimum i know a lot of you are eating um green smoothies and all of that stuff but on the keto diet we have to keep all of that um down to a minimum now we talk about um protein grams carb grams fat grams and calories now what you have to do is go and find a macros um calculator online because what i did was looked up my macros for a woman that's five seven and however many pounds that I am, ha, mind your business. Uh, yeah. So I found out that these, this is much, this is how much protein I should be eating in grams every day. How much carbs I should be eating every day. How much fat I should be having every day. And how many calories I should be eating every day for my size and weight. So, um, I am going to get me a digital scale. That is something that I'm going to get because I want to weigh. Um, using measuring spoons and cups for liquid and dry items like nuts. You want to eat five hours apart, three meals a day. And 12 hours overnight to where you're not eating anything so I'm gonna come back to you later and do a whole video on intermittent fasting because I'm only gonna eat from 12 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. every day the rest of the day I'll be fasting you don't have to do it but that's just something that I want to do because I got so much weight to lose and intermittent fasting really helps I'm also going to come back and do a separate video on um, on uh, what is it? Well, I can't think of it right now. I think because my phone ringing, my head just went blank. I got another phone and it's ringing, so my mind going blank right now. But anyway, I'm going to come back and do another video on um, getting rid of waste. I guess that's the best way I can call it because I can't think of nothing right now um, avoid sweet and starchy vegetables like peas corn potatoes yams and beans now I know that that's supposed to be like um, those are supposed to be like very um, good for you but if you got a significant amount of weight to lose then you have to avoid these because they're starchy and starch turns into sugar no carrots or squash i do zucchini only zucchini only no squash no squash um and like i said we're going to talk later about the intermittent fasting um the only thing other thing that i wanted to share with you is and i'm going to do a separate video on this too which is meal prep and just having a plan for how you're going to lose your weight um i'm definitely going to be eating a lot of salads i have to keep my pepper mix made this is something that you have to do this is your probably your sunday prep every sunday is to get your salad bowl ready 
to get your peppers and onions ready, to get your vegetables ready, because the best way to cheat is to not be prepared. The only thing I don't, you don't see here is uh, my soup bowl. I haven't made my soup for the week yet, but you want to make you a cabbage soup. You want to make you a vegetable uh, soup or something like that, that you can just pop in a bowl and microwave in about two minutes because soup definitely keeps you full until you can make you a salad until you can get to some food always have you a bowl of salad ready uh and a bowl and a and a pot of soup uh ready because if you don't you will cheat um I would say if you're going to eat tuna salad or chicken salad, crab salad, shrimp salad, make you a bowl in the beginning of the week so that you will have it for your um, for your Parmesan crackers that you got. Make your soup and make your cloud bread. Like I said, I'll be back to let y'all know what some of this stuff is on this list. I can't explain everything to you right now, but... Cloud bread is something that we make out of eggs for people who just must have bread, who need a sound, who need bread to have a sandwich. It's bread without any flour or anything in it. Um, stir fry and veggie bag. There we go. Like I said, um, make your dessert. I mean, like, let's be for real. We like sugar. We like dessert. We can make cream um, cheesecake. We can make... Um, brownies we can make all of that stuff we just have to make it without flour and without white sugar so that means you got to go get you some coconut flour some almond flour and use that instead of white flour um and you got to prepare your snack bags you got to have you know all your nuts and stuff already prepared um i will be making um some kind of nut bars or something like that. Um, and uh, so stay tuned for, um, I gotta stop saying um too. Ken always say, you say um a hundred times. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get better at that. But right now, um, <laughs> I'm finished with this video. So I hope that everybody is ready to start keto. We're going to be going in the whole month of February. We're going to go in so hard. Now, Ken's birthday is in February, so I'm going to cheat like a few days. But you know what? As long as I can, as long as I go strong, at least 25 days of strong no sugar keto then i'm good you know i don't i'm not pressing myself that that tough to be perfect and all that kind of stuff because that's the kind of stuff that makes you fall off um the only thing that i didn't talk about is water and i do need to talk about water because i uh it's recommended on my list that I drink um, six liters of water a day. What? Ah. Girl, bye. Look at this water. I don't have this water in this cup since I woke up this morning, and I ain't, and I ain't done drinking it yet. So, um, y'all pray for me because. We're going to need for each other to stay lifted. So give me a comment below if you planning on uh, being healthy and wealthy with me this year. I got like 100 pounds to lose, and I am determined to lose it. My new motto is fail, 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 fail. Everybody always say, oh, girl, you need to succeed. You're going to succeed. No, my word is fail. Fail every day and start over. Fail as much as you need to fail and start over. Get back up. Do it again. Fall off. Get back up tomorrow. Do it one more time. Fail again. Fail again. Fail again. Until one day it's going to become a habit to just do it. So until you 
make being healthy your habit be a be the best failure that that you possibly can don't fail at failing keep failing until you get it right one of these days y'all gonna see me online and i'm gonna be so little and so small and it's only gonna be because i didn't stop failing it's only gonna be because i kept trying no matter how many times i fail i kept trying and that's what i want y'all to do i want you to start again today start again today y'all comment below let me know if you with me, if you praying for me, if you got my back, because we are going to be healthy and wealthy in 2019. And I want to know, are you ready to be healthy with me? We starting keto tomorrow, February 1st, and we is not playing. Come on, y'all. Let's go.